Well, there's definitely going to be interference on the elections. And I think it's great that the current commission uh, is working on this with different types of units and people trying to fend off fake news. We're going to get a lot of cyber type of information attacks from, for instance, Russia. I mean, I look at my own Twitter feed at the moment when I put out a video which is, you know, Europe is about solving problems, not making problems. and. And, you know, we must stop the Salvinization of, of Europe. Suddenly, you know, bang, I get 50 to 60 comments, which are completely coordinated. They come from all different quarters, you know, people who, uh, you know, are anti-European, are anti-Western values and so on and so forth. So we're going to see a lot of this. It, it, it's the sort of new normal. Um, and, and, and obviously we have to work against this. We can do a few things. We have to recognize ourselves, what's fake news and, you know, what are cyber attacks and, and trolls and the rest of it. And secondly, we also, I think, need to educate the young to be able to siphon and, 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 and see differences between fake news and, and real news. And I feel also that the media has an important uh, task on that. We always talk about the media as sort of the fourth power right next to the legislative, executive and, and judiciary. It's the guardian. Uh, of, 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 of the people. It's a guardian of the truth. Well, I think it's very important that the media also takes a guardian of trying to get the fake news out of the system. And, and in that sense, you have a big responsibility.